Good morning, learners of success and happiness. I'm happy today to welcome all of you here online. And uh, for the sake of the learners who are not he here before yesterday and yesterday, I want to pass through the, the presentation on uh, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, we want you all, all of you to be uh, successful and uh, happy. And we ha as we have seen, the source of happiness and success, we have seen that uh, the thoughts plus definite purpose uh, plus desire, persistence equal success and happiness. Uh, we have seen this book of Think and Grow Rich, an example of Barnes, Edwin. We have seen how this Edwin, Barnes, uh, had a burning desire to be a business partner of Edison, the greatest inventor. But uh, Mr. Edison had some challenges, I mean Burns. First, Burns had no money. He had no even ticket to reach um, Edison. Second, he, he did not know even Mr. Edison. And again, he had but little education. He didn't have everything except a burning desire to be a business partner of Mr. Edison. Tell me, maybe most of you want to be rich and billionaire, but you are facing now challenges, financial challenges or other facilities. How do you handle such uh, difficulties? Let's see, Mr. Burns. We, with all of these, Burns said, I should be a business partner of Edison. Mr. Edison did not accept such temporal defeat. The challenges, we all face challenges on daily life, but we shouldn't accept it as a failure. We should think of success and make success. Mr. Burns, when he, he was going to see uh, Mr. Edison, he was looking as a homeless guy, but the thoughts was of the king. Mr. Burns, uh, before he start the business with Edison, let me tell you, it has taken time to be a business partner, some years, but he has never given up. He started by a job, but later he became a business partner. Uh, when when uh, Burns started, he had nothing to start with. As I have said earlier before, he had no money, he had but little education, he didn't have network, he didn't know even Mr. Edison, but he had a definite purpose of being a business partner with Mr. Edison, the greatest inventor of the United States at the time. Uh, and he had initiative and faith. Uh, I think you, you will have a lot to tell him about faith. But he had faith, strong faith in himself, strong faith in his project. And I add, if you want to be successful, you should have faith in God as well. And he had a burning desire. When this burning desire became reality, Burns has won. 
Oh, I was so happy when I was seeing the slogans of these great Americans and people were saying made by Edison and installed by Barnes. When he, the dream, when the desire became reality. Let me tell you this morning that very soon, if you apply the principles of this book, you are going to be successful and you are going to achieve your mission and goals. Now, Mr. Burns has proved that one can think and grow rich. Let me show you the causes of failures. Many people fail in life because when they face temporary defeats, they quit. Never quit. When time comes where you feel you are going to fail, it's where you can get force and reach your objective. You have made good choice of your project. Don't quit and you will succeed. Uh, and the many people and uh, every person is a guilt of this mistake in one time or another of quitting. You face the challenges, you think you are going to achieve your goals, you quit. Yet you are about to succeed. From today, if you have a, a well-designed purpose, never quit until you reach the purpose. Uh, and another mistake is not looking for experts. I will talk about mastermind later. You should associate yourself with people who are positive and who are knowledgeable in the domain you are undertaking. If you, fa you face challenges, don't give up. Look for experts. Let me tell you, the successful people, many successful people, even most of them, they are ready and accessible for advices. Don't be shy. Go and look for them. They will tell you the journey to their success. Another mistake is not converting defeat into stepping stones to opportunity. Once you, you, you face the situation, don't see as something which is going to kill you. Look at it as an opportunity. Let me give you a scenario, for instance. You can see the situation of this COVID-19. Others are sleeping. Others are thinking that they can't do something. But now you, you are learning how to be successful and happiness and how to be happy. You have taken resolution of success. Let me tell you, you are going to succeed because you have taken resolution. You have not decided to sleep. You have decided to learn. And from this learning, I'm 100% sure that you will be witnessing and giving testimonies of success. And again, plan B, plan C. You have read in the book how a general was going to start a battle after crossing the sea has decided to burn the boats and he told his soldiers as you can see the smoke of these boats it means that we don't have any other choice to go back the only choice we have is to succeed or perish they have fought and they have won. Today, don't have other plans except success. Success should be your only plan. And another mistake is a lack of persistence. Please be persistent. Don't 
give up. Don't get discouraged. The best is yet to come. Uh, let me tell you how wealth men become that way. This is the question many people can ask. The riches start with a state of mind, with the definiteness, definiteness of purpose, with the little or no hard work. Don't think that you will be successful because you have worked too much, but you will be successful because you have taken your time to think. And let me assure you that when riches began to come, they come so quick in such great abundance that one wonders where they have been hiding during those long years. comes who become success. Success comes to those who become success mind. Let me tell you that you are the you are the master of your faith and you are the captain of your soul. Oh, this is very good. You are the architect of your life. You shouldn't live the life the world has chosen for you. You should choose to live the life you always want to live. Yes, because you are the architect of your life, you are the maker of your future. No one has chosen to be born the way he and the who he is born, but everyone can choose who to become. You have power to control your thoughts. Don't accept negative thoughts. Keep positive mind and positive thinking. And our brain become magnetized by with the dominating thoughts which hold in our minds. Oh yes. Don't accept negative thinking. Associate yourself with positive people who will help you to reach your objectives and goals. And again, we must become money conscious until the desire for money drives us to create definite plans for acquiring it. My dear friends, let me tell you, think and grow rich. Read the book of Napoleon Hill of Think and Grow Rich. We have read the book and the book has changed our life. May God bless you in your journey to success and happiness.